say that that's what all of them are missing the people. And can you think of the reason why this is the case? Is that um, that you can have them? The man is in the front of the screen and the screen. And there's a small time in the television and some guy that's sitting in the seat. So there's somebody kind of down the scene at this moment who, you know, identifies some damage that the scene may be just to the And then there's another guy in the seat that and he's standing on the street and he's simply, and he's just too very fast that he can see, you know, just a high fast speed. He's comparing me to this, this kind of class of this thing. So I'm thinking, you just all the things that you can see. And then, call it the, and I understand the term to be just a case. Well, so it didn't have that kind of relationship. So, but then all of these about certain, I don't know, and um, components of standards, but also people's expectations of standards. So if you have a certain standard level, and you call it in such standard level, and the customers are um, disappointed within the things that but if they're talking about how it's talking, and they use the same thing, they use the same thing, they use the same thing, they use the same thing. So it has to be customer perception and in relationship to customers. And then quality management is also about the impact from the price, because it's um, the cost to produce information services, and the cost of correcting mistakes and it has to that cost of the public discourse. So by putting quality into the production, you also increase uh you also increase the the profit to lower the price so when it comes to this public concern. And then uh we we'll talk about um, differentiation and companies differentiate themselves based on quality. So, I want to talk about some of the concepts of quality. And um, I know now that knowledge to update us, so a couple of the um, key video features. And we said that some of them are key recordings. And we said they do it in the video. Um, so, Total quality management is a concept that came up in the 80s. Uh, people were talking about quality and the success. And um, uh, they were talking about things like 1920 and the production and the standard of the food production and production of the food. And they were talking about quality management and comprehensive organization model. Thank you. 
sit and I sit together. And if there is no um, there is no balance from other people to sit together. Because otherwise this thing would be doing just a bit of work. But there is an animation so that the same output comes out of the production process every single time. And then in the highest employment, there is different things that are important. And it's just a question for the question. Why do we have certain qualities? And why do we say that qualities are important? And this is why thinking about how qualities are important for the future. Because it makes the person more competitive.
six sigma and lean in the late 1980s and in the 1990s. And uh, this was a combination of the lean concept and a concept of six sigma where it was like a, a problem solving approach for eliminating defects and variability in products. And they usually say teams of people that become responsible for reducing um, problems. Um, okay, and uh, there's also this concept of statistical concepts and statistics. This is the concept of measuring and reducing. Thank you. 